semiotics at the Autonomous University of Barcelona in a co-tutorship with the University of Turin, supervised by Professor Massimo Leone, who will be here yesterday. Um, and I'm conducting research about urban Spain and its storytelling. But today, the topic of my talk is the activity of uh, OFEM, um, Observatorio para la Ficción Española y Nueva Tecnología, uh, the research group I'm collaborating with at the Autonomous University of Barcelona. Uh, and in particular, I'm going to explain the creative way to use uh, semiotics and teach it to researchers not semiotics trained uh, that uh, are belonging to the group. Um, so in order to respect the timeline, I keep on reading my paper. I'm <laughs> sorry about it. Um, as I say, um, as a research group, uh, often belongs to the Department of Media Studies at uh, uh, Autonomous, and it's led by Professor Charola Calle. Uh, we study a wide corpus of Spanish television series, focusing on how they contribute to build identity, uh, especially in the young and gender-based uh, view viewers. Often is uh, committed to the transformation of television formats, so it has focused on the research on the study of transmedia uh, narrative and in particular how TV fiction expands uh, through uh, the internet. According to the main objectives often, um, objectives often are the following. So to explore um, the construction of such identities through new transmedia narratives, uh, focusing on uh, youth, gender, immigration, etc. And to train young researchers without any previous, or maybe with a little previous semiotics formation, uh, by conducting various projects in which they can learn and apply the social semiotic methodology to the, analyze, uh, to the analysis of transmedia narratives in TV fiction. Uh, thanks to its uh, social attitude and side, uh, often uh, has developed various research projects funded by the Ministry of Science and Innovation, uh, Spanish Ministry of Science and Innovation, and the Catalan government. Uh, just to mention the latest ones, uh, we have uh, led. Uh, um, the construction of young people's identity on TV fiction and new media ended by December to, uh, 2012 and the construction of women's, women's identity on TV fiction and new media uh, which is in progress. Uh, the aim of all these projects is to analyze the construction of youth and human identity in Spain televised fictional representation. Uh, often also participate in uh, OBITEL. OBITEL is uh, an international observatory uh, participated by 11 countries, nine from Latin America, Spain and Portugal, aiming to combine a quantitative uh, based methodology with the contextual analysis of uh, television fiction. Uh, currently, uh, OFEN is working on a project uh, granted by the Ministry of uh, Economy and Competitiveness, is that new one? New one ministry? Um, the social, called the Social Construction of Women in TV Fiction and Web 2.0. Prototypes, Reception and Feedback is the name of the, from the grant project. Um, in uh, this uh, current project, as, uh, as the previous ones, uh, one of the most important mission of OFEN, as I'm saying, uh, is to train researchers and teach them uh, to successfully use various uh, methodological uh, approaches, uh, all integrated. Um, therefore, uh, aiming to train young researchers of uh, OFEN methodology integrates uh, quantitative analysis plus social semiotic uh, analysis with characters analysis, um, narrative analysis, transmedia analysis, 
and uh, reception analysis with uh, uh, even with ethnographic uh, methodology with the focus group. Uh, consequently, uh, often uh, engages researchers in every uh, in every step of the analysis in order to encourage uh, detailed knowledge of the object of uh, the analysis, uh, which is the TV fiction uh, in uh, these cases. Uh, for instance, researchers have, uh, have to know very well the, the programs in the series. Uh, also, every research has to acquire a minimum knowledge of the statistical program SPSS, which is the world leading desktop uh, statistical software package uh, in order um, design in order to code information. Um, the SPSS database is uh, is designed to process the responses inferred from the socio-semiotic analysis uh, with the frequencies. Uh, anyway, uh, the the main strength of the project that I like to stress uh, in this context uh, is the qualitative uh, aspect of the research and in particular the original and effective way in which we hope <laughs> that is original and effective but anyway uh, in which we use uh, a specific uh, socio-semiotics uh, uh, methodology and how it is effective and profitable uh, to study fictional stories in depth. Uh, researchers can easily learn by doing semiotics categories dealing with the narrative... Uh, gracias, thank you, Gabriela. Uh, without any specific prior knowledge. Uh, thanks to the outline we have designed to analyze characters, narr narr narrativity and discourses of viewers. Let's just take a couple of minutes to go through the specific semiotics tool. Um, first, first of all, we have to say that uh, semiotics is so useful as an analytic tool because it's able to recognize universal narrative prototype as, uh, re as recursively utterances built from the relationships between the various characters and the story and their function. Um, the French semiotician Grimas was interested in seeing how any in specific instance of narrative is related to a larger process of general semiosis. Uh, the outline spe specifically designed by the laboratorio to analyze young characters gather all the main topics of narrative semiotics, such as the attentional model, the concept of isotopy, the enunciation structure, and the temporalization and spatialization features. As uh, we mentioned earlier, Without, uh, just without a little previous specific knowledge about these features, it would be easy for any researcher to use semiotics in the praxis. Uh, researchers are taught about the semi-narrative and discursivization feature just by using them. Uh, just take a look at how it works with a potential role, for example. If you want to go not related with the speech, but uh, this is the often group. We are all girls, and the main object I already said. <laughs> so, um, as I think, just to take a look at uh, how it works with um, okay. to attention roles, uh, uh, Grimas reformulating the proper categories in, term, uh, in terms of actants as abstract prototype of the characters distinguishes two uh, significant levels in the discourse, the thematic lever and the figurative one. Before being constructed as a figure of the story with its uh, corresponding uh, physical and psychological characterization, the identity of the character is formed by different uh, roles assumed in the narrative, where you can have uh, as a 
subject, an object, a sender, a recipient, a system, or an opponent. Dealing with this in the script, in the script, in the outline of and as, as recently designed for female characters uh, in drama, the following we have the following range of thematic roles: domestic. Professional, familiar, sexual, aesthetic, entertainment, and religion. And what's more, uh, we also have good and heavy, the good and the heavy, the vain, the sexy, the lesbian, the rebel, the stranger, and the friend. Firstly, one has to detect which are engaged with one character. Secondly, by crossing the attention role subject, object, sender, recipient, uh, assistant or opponent with the, the actorial ones using SPSS, it's easy to tackle this uh, crucial point. Uh, well, the youth and gender's representation are homogeneous and polarized around Manichaean position or if, on the contrary, they reflect the highly dynamic characteristic of life. Uh, just as, as, as a result, we can say that uh, invariably the dramatic functions are present in the, any kind of plot. So we have the star, the antagonist, the, the star's friends, the romantic character, etc. However, we must add that the identity of characters depends on the place they occupy within the group. In addition, to be credible, they provide more scope in terms of plot and narrative. It's fundamental for TV, TV viewers to identify and empathize with the characters, of course. Uh, the script uh, I'm describing takes into account the enunciation set developed as communication roles. So to easily, to easily teach uh, researchers towards uh, the perspective and the point of view in the story. So to detect who is the narrator, who is the spectator, and whether uh, the spectator um, rules as a decoder or in an interlocutor dealing with the Cassetti's film theory. Also the concept of isotopy is covered by the script in order to recognize the most important recurrences or redundancies that make possible a uniform reading of story and resolving ambiguities. So even if I give you just a quick uh, glimpse of, um, of our world, I hope you have now a better understanding of uh, offhand uh, methodology. Just to summarize, uh, the main idea is that as well as every practical tool, even semiotics can be always improved by use. Every project has served as a test of its efficacy and we have learned even by mistakes. In this case, the methodology is just pre-tested on people. This is exactly the mindset of observatorio, just learning and teaching by using. Even TV and web series are an um, observatory to monitor changes in the representation of identity since, as uh, we have tried to state by this little sample. It's constantly setting up a mutual reflection effect between characters and viewers. It's in process as we are constantly in process. Um, according to this uh, scenario, applied semiotic reveals itself as a critical tool able to account for identity's production uh, of meaning. It goes without saying that by using semiotics as easy and accessible tool and not scare away researchers from using it, qualitative, even qualitative researcher will be converted into a more convincing and usefully uh, scientific tool. To, um, not only social science and media study could take advantage from it, but also TV producers as well as market consultancies 
and at least all curious viewers interested in understanding what happened in our mindset when we are watching enter entertainment programs. In other words, we are fully convinced that TV series aren't just entertainment. An identity process is going out on that, uh, and that often is trying to figure out. Uh, that recollect the latest uh, project we have led. Uh, we have uh, it's a book written by all members of the group, supervised by Professor Charo Lacalle. Uh, that includes the result of the, of the last project, explaining in details uh, methodology occurrences. Okay, uh, if you are interested, I suggest just to visit our uh, home page. This is the, in the last uh, uh, slide. Uh, and I, I'll, be glad, I'll be glad to give you more information. So thank you for your attention and to be, my, to be patient with my English too. Thank you. <laughs>